Hello everyone, this is our second video on this channel and today we will be solving lead code question 165 compare version numbers. So in this question we are basically given two strings version 1 and version 2 and we have to compare them. Version 1 version numbers consist of one or more revisions joined by dot. Each revision consists of digit and may contain leading zeros. Every re revision contains at least one character that is uh, it's not like uh, one dot dot uh, one so there should be uh, at least one character or a number um, in between the in between two dots now to compare this version numbers we compare we have to compare from left to right order uh, and at last uh, we have to return if version 1 is less than version 2 then we simply return minus 1 else we go for 1 and if none of the above uh, conditions satisfy then we simply return 0 so example 1 states that version 1 equals to 1.01 and version 2 is 1.001 so both uh, 0 01 and 001 represent the same that is uh, 1 so we simply return 0 and same is the case with the second example 1.0 and 1.0.0 so there is no value for dot 0 so we assume both the uh, two versions are same so we return 0 and in the third example 0 0.1 and 1.1 so uh, as version 2 being greater than version 1 we have we, we will be returning minus 1 so how do we solve this question basically we can see that we have to compare uh, our strings one by one that is each character at a time so let's say uh, first we take one as it is stated that we have to traverse from left to right order so we start from one for on uh, version one and one on version two as both are same we go uh, go on the characters after the dot that is the revision number 2 that is 0 01 and 0 0 01 and we compare both the strings or both the substrings after that dot and we uh, in this way we go on traversing through the version version strings so basically we will be using two point approach to solve this question so now let's look at the uh, solution of this question first we take uh, two pointers i and j to traverse through the link uh, string n uh, n n and mm for uh, for uh, storing the numbers in between the dots and uh, n and m are the two uh, are the sizes of both the strings so now we start traversing from uh, on on the strings one by one in uh, first we traverse for uh, for the version 1 and secondly we will travel will be traversing for version number 2 I mean the string 2 so for traversing on the string 1 we go on uh, we go on iterating until our pointer reaches the uh, reaches the size uh, the maximum index that is size and this is the main condition to traverse that is if our string encounters any dot then we stop over there and we uh, add all the numbers until that dot into our nn uh, nn integer and we go on tra traversing until this uh, until i uh, the string reaches n same is the case with the string 2 that is version 2 we go on traversing until it is uh, we find any dot and we add all the digits until that uh, dot now we check if our uh, string 1 is greater than string 2 then as per our condition we will be returning 1 else if version 1 is less than version 2 then we will be returning minus 1 if none of the case satisfies then we simply return min uh, 0 and the significance of this is we have traversed just till one particular dot so let's say for example if we take a case of 1.01 .01, then our first loop this while loop will be traversing only till 1 so now we have to in go go to check a later part of the uh, string after dot so we have to reset our values to 0 0 to start again after the, uh, again uh, summing all the digits after that dot 
so this is uh, this is necessary and uh, important to make our uh, uh, integer zero so this was the solution for the question and i hope you like the video and the approach the uh, link for this code will be is joined in the description and yeah see you next time thank you